Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech. But today I want to talk a little bit about uh, the face of IT and where we are right now. And I want to throw out there that within IT these days, we, as in the people in IT, we are magicians. We have a craft. We're freaking wizards people. And the people that go around hiring people, the people that go around uh, managing people, have no idea what our technical abilities are. And because of that, we tend to go, or the management tends to go, not with, uh, with the people who have the documentation, but the people who seem to be the most confident and that management is most confident in getting the job done. And this is something I see going on all over the place. I see people in high up positions uh, within IT that either don't know a certain thing or they uh, act like they know and really they don't have much idea what's going on or they simply put themselves in the middle and hire contractors around them. And this is happening more and more. And because of this, uh, there truly is problems within the IT, within the tech industry, of getting females in, of getting minorities in. And uh, if you want to act like there is no, uh, if you want to act like there's absolutely no uh, prejudice or sexism, within IT, I think it's uh, time for you to take a good long look around. Now, first of all, there is, I don't want to exactly say racism, but black people, uh, Asian people are definitely having a hard time getting into the workforce. And uh, Middle Eastern people, I know some really intelligent Middle Eastern people. I have worked in the same building as people from the Middle East. So I'm in Canada, right? And I know people from the Middle East that uh, if I was walking down the aisle with them, if I was talking with them, normally I could say, hey, hey, hey to everyone else that passes by. But when I'm walking with a gentleman from the Middle East, I see a lot more people like this when they walk by. Not making eye contact, not doing, uh, not, not doing none of that. So let's face it, there is, there is some stuff going on. And I can tell you, I can tell you absolutely that we do have a lot of people, even in my area, that are within IT because they're confident and people are conf have confidence in them to lead, but these people don't necessarily have information. Bullshit baffled brains. And I see this going on all over the place. It's one big circle jerk. Everybody is hiring who they know. And maybe not necessarily everyone knows who they are. When you see Wizard on TV, when you see Gandalf, you're like, you're not like, I wonder how much mana he has. I wonder how much, uh, I wonder how many magical books he has. Has he used the Necronomicon? Is he is he advanced in the way of the Necronomicon? Like you don't even know what these books are. So when you go to your IT, you don't even know. A lot of HR people these days too don't even know uh, what kind of skills that certain people need to be within IT. And it's kind of starting to get to me. I was just uh, the only reason it's starting to get to me a little bit today is because I'm, uh, I'm reading a piece, and I'll show you, within, uh, within Vice Motherboard, I believe I found it, uh, our, no, sorry, USA Today, talking about how hard it is in IT for females and minorities to be within IT, and it seems to all be because these people aren't immediately friends with somebody. Now, I've, I've told you before, and it definitely is a thing, it's not what you know, but who you know within IT, who knows what you know, but uh, particularly, who has confidence that you have confidence in what you do? And that was one thing that kind of shot me in the foot. I've never had a lot of confidence going into things where, uh, where uh, let's say this thing absolutely needs to be fixed. I'm not going to come in and say, yeah, I got this thing fixed, no problem. You know what? I feel like if I do something like that, then uh, I'm not going to have it fixed because I'll be jinxing myself. But if you do get someone and they're like, yeah, I got this, I'll take care of this. And I got like a John Wayne kind of attitude. People would be like, oh, yes, thank you, John Wayne. We love you so much. But <clears throat> it's just, it's amazing. Not what you know, but who you know and how confident you look going into something. And I see this in multiple places. And I see people get, being getting taken for a ride. So uh, yesterday, Eli, the computer guy, was talking about how he was at uh, talking to a startup uh, guy. And this startup guy's tech dude, his yes man, didn't know what a subnet mask was or what it did. And I just, I'm hearing all kinds of this stuff just uh, in the last few days. And it's, uh, it's kind of, it's almost getting to me a little bit because, uh, man, I got a kid, 
I'm in IT, you know, I'm paid this much, but you know what, I'm starting to think that if I just acted confident, I'd be paid like freaking this much. And that's something I wanted to pass on to you guys, anyone from within IT, anyone from the outside looking in, you don't have to have the documents, you just have to have the right friends. And if you have the right friends, the sky's the limit. If you, man, I remember my dad, you saw me, if you got the, the right amount of money, if you got uh, the right connections, you can do anything, but this is just disgusting. All right, so here's the article. I just want you to listen to this little bit before I really get into it. In tech, so I think there isn't or hasn't been a recognition of just the ways in which the Valley operates is inherently biased and inherently exclusionary. It's about who you know, it's about access, it's not um, about the best and brightest until you've already been admitted to the club. It's largely an... All right, so let's take a little look into this article. Here's why women, black, and Hispanics are leaving tech. Uh, San Francisco, toxic workplaces. And man, I've seen some toxic IT workplaces, let me tell you. Uh, where harassment, stereotyping, or bullying occurring is driving away women uh, and people of color, undercutting technology companies' efforts to increase diversity and costing an estimated 16 billion a year man i tell you some of those server rooms can be real hot places i'm not talking temperature wise uh first of its kind study usa today stereotyping mispromotions okay i've definitely seen mispromotions happening and uh certain people getting promoted ahead of other people because of who their friends were that's one thing you got to know in the it industry get in with your friends it's a, it's the same with a lot of things get in with your friends and if your boss likes golf you like golf that is almost more important than getting a piece of paper these days according to uh, a tech lever study uh, Nearly 8 in 10 employees who left tech jobs reportedly experienced some form of unfair behavior treatment, while 85% observed it, and 37% said that they left their jobs because of it. In fact, unfair behavior and treatment was the number one reason given for leaving, and was, likely, and was twice as likely to be cited than being uh, recruited for a better opportunity. Now, that's definitely something that uh, we, we've been running into now. A prob another problem we're running running into is the dark web has been seeing this stuff hackers black hat hackers have been seeing this stuff and the people that are getting treated badly because maybe they don't drink maybe they don't play golf maybe they don't want to go out and play with cars like their bosses do uh, aren't getting the promotions that other people are getting and when we get into situations like this like come on this is like this is pretty much the bad part of communism we're not communists right but holy crap but it's just amazing some of this stuff but uh anyways yeah you gotta like what your boss likes and if you're if you're a female sometimes that can be especially hard and if you're a hot female it can be especially especially hard because oh my goodness tech people we're not normal let's face it a lot of it people are it people because they aren't normal and they came to computers because that was a place that they were comfortable that's for, uh, was a place that uh, they felt safe but again it is becoming the old boy exclusionary thing and i definitely think that uh, this is something that definitely needs to be changed this is something that uh, it's just sad it's just sad, really. Anyways, I'll leave the link to this in the description. And just a warning, look, get, get, get some of your own information because this chick is a self-styled social justice warrior. I don't have a lot of respect for that. But <clears throat> these days... These days, it's not what you know, but who you know. It's definitely not what you know, but who you know, especially in IT, because we're all a bunch of wizards and nobody knows exactly what we do. And we got a lot of crooks and liars out there. And guys... If you're IT people and you're, and you're listening and you're a manager, come on, smarten up, guys. I hope you're not like this. Uh, listen to what I say, please, and try to just make sure you're not becoming one of these groups because it's disgusting. Anyways, that's it for me, Nev from Nev's Tech. But it's like, subscribe if you like this stuff. Really appreciate it. It helps me out. And uh, take care of each other. Catch you later.